nine, three, two, one, go. Autonomous period underway. Looking back and forth does not look like either Alliance able to deposit that gear with their pre-programmed routines. Blue Alliance with a small five point advantage. We'll see if that makes a difference in the next two minutes and 15 seconds. Team 1902 exploding bacon quickly deposits that gear. Bump and run coming through trying to slow down those three blue machines coming through. 46-22 the Wildcats moving back already with the gear trying to strike first. See if they can get that second gear turning. Lots of robot robot interaction over here near the blue loading zone. Looks like Red Alliance got that second gear turning first. Blue Alliance is not very far behind. They're getting it hooked up. One, two, three. There it goes. Two rotors apiece right now. Working that third rotor. Looks like Roaring Riptides. Their amber lamp is solid. That means the robot has some connectivity issues at the moment. See if they can work through that. Team 21 Combat from Titusville in position. Losing that gear as they drop it off. Less than one minute left to play. Looks like Blue Alliance needs three gears. Red Alliance needs just like one gear. Looks like they've got it in position. One, two, three. That's three rotors for the Red Alliance and we're coming up on end game. Just about 35 seconds left to play. The robots getting themselves into position. That sound means it's time to hang. Ropes are being deployed. 54-72. The Stallions in position. Bacon trying the same. Looks like Riptide came to life. Let's see if they can hang at the last minute here. Their rope down, Bacon's hooked up and going up. We've got two blue machines. Riptide, can they get there? And five, four, three, last second, 54, 72, yes! That last second climb 